The holiday season has begun at Universal Orlando Resort, and there are a ton of activities and events. So if you're heading over to Universal Orlando this year, I'm going to go over all of the fun festivities that you can experience to help you plan your trip. So let's get into it. The Holidays at Universal is going on now until January 1st and expands both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. The best part about the holiday celebrations at Universal is that most of the activities are included in admission and you don't have to pay extra to experience most of them throughout the parks. We're going to start our festivities at Islands of Adventure and begin at Grinchmas located at Seuss Landing. During the holidays, Seuss Landing has been decorated with all of the holiday charm and cheer of Dr. Seuss's Whoville. In this area, you'll have to keep your eyes peeled for the Who's who will be making their way around to put a little bit of spark and holiday spirit within your day. And while you're in the area, make sure to catch Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular, which is a fun retelling of the Grinch. I really loved this show. It's a really spectacular show filled with Grinchy fun, fantastic music, and all of your favorite Grinch moments from the movies and the books. If you want to spend even more time with the Grinch, then you'll want to make sure to check the app to catch the special meet and greet photo opportunities with the Grinch himself at Hong Kongers. Meeting the Grinch was probably one of the biggest highlights of our entire holidays at Universal, and he makes sure to spend a little bit of time with each of the guests before the photo ops. Well, hello! Why aren't you just so happy? Oh, Why is that happy? I'm gonna need you to get a sharpie and color in all of your skin for you. So that it's actually does that sound acceptable? We're, we're like we're reading each other's minds. Wow, there's nothing going on. Wow. I sense a lot of emotional distress. Wow, that is the most boring bag I have ever seen. That's what my mom said when she saw me dressed up. That's the most boring bag I've ever seen. Very traumatizing. Let's get a picture of the money. Once you finish with all of the festivities at Seuss Landing, then you'll make your way over to the Lost Continent, where you'll be able to find the All Hallows Eve Boutique has been reimagined with a Krampus theme for the holidays. And here, you'll be able to find spooky Halloween-themed Christmas merch and this fun and spooktacular store.
If you enjoy finding beautiful Christmas trees like the one at All Hallows Eve Boutique, then you'll want to pick up one of these holiday tree hunt maps. These maps are $12 and are a fun scavenger hunt to find all of the decorated holiday trees across Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and Universal City Walk. I really enjoyed going throughout the park and finding all of these beautiful trees throughout Universal during our trip. And at the end of the day, you can stop by one of the select stores indicated on the map to collect your prize which ended up being this really fun Earl the Scroll ornament that we got at the Legacy Store as we left for the evening. Once you're finished with the Lost Continent, you'll make your way over to Hogsmeade, which is a part of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. and is a magical area no matter what time of year you come, but it's especially magical during the holidays. While you're here, you'll have to make sure to catch the seasonal melodies of the Frog Choir that perform a few times throughout the day. And if you come on one of the rare chilly days while you're here in Orlando, you can warm up during the holidays with a cup of hot butterbeer. And if you end up staying until the evening, you'll want to make sure to catch the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle, which happens from dusk until close on select nights throughout the season. This amazing projection show is roughly about 10 minutes long and is something that you won't want to miss, especially for my fellow Harry Potter fans out there. And before you leave Islands of Adventure, my Christmas video would not be complete without mentioning the Port of Entry Christmas Shop. Even though this shop is available 365 days a year, it's one of the best locations to find festive Christmas ornaments, stockings, decorations, souvenirs, and so much more in Islands of Adventure. So now since we've enjoyed all of the holiday festivities in Islands of Adventure, let's head back to Universal Studios to finish off our tour. Once at Universal Studios, we'll head straight back to Diagon Alley, which has some fun holiday festivities that include these beautiful holiday decorations that you can find throughout Diagon Alley. And while you're here, you won't want to miss Celestina Warbeck and her Banshees as they entertain you with some fun festive holiday favorites from the magical world of Harry Potter. The best part about it is that it ends in a flurry of snow. Just a short walk from Diagon Alley is the New York area where you'll find the giant Christmas tree that stands a massive 80 feet tall and is complete with a five foot topper. And while you're checking out the tree, you'll wanna keep an eye out for the famous Earl the Squirrel, whose story we learned from our VIP tour guide, Mike, who told us that Earl the Squirrel is based off of a real squirrel that made his home in their giant Christmas tree. One year, Santa was making his way down the parade route as usual when he went to light the tree and nothing happened. 
So later that night, team members went to investigate and they discovered that Earl had built this nest within the Christmas tree, along with a few severed light strings nearby. So Earl the squirrel felt so bad about not lighting up the tree for the kids when Santa came around, so he continues to live in the tree to this day and pops out every once in a while to make sure that the lights are still on. So as you're admiring the tree this year, don't forget to keep an eye out for little Earl the squirrel. It's a really fun holiday tradition and they move him every single year. Right next door to the giant Christmas tree is the Holiday Tribute Store. And if you've never been inside the Tribute Store, it's a completely immersive theme store that originally started with Halloween Horror Nights a few years ago, but now gets transformed for the holidays as well as the Mardi Gras celebration early in the year. This season's Holiday Tribute Store features four themed marketplaces, a vintage New York, which is a nod to the beautiful Christmas displays that you can find in major department stores like Macy's, and features fresh cut Christmas trees as you enter, this giant Santa centerpiece, a roasted chestnut cart, nutcrackers in the store windows, and Carl's toy chest window complete with a moving gondola lift. The next theme room that you'll walk into is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This beautiful room that is themed to be almost like a mini Hogsmeade, complete with owlry and beautifully decorated store windows. If you're a huge Harry Potter fan, you'll want to take your time as you make your way through this room to find all sorts of really fun Christmas merchandise and ornaments. Once you've passed through the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you'll walk into the Whoville Room that is themed to the original cartoon. The Whoville Room has a really cute Max centerpiece and Grinch scenes in the window fronts in addition to this really fun Grinch statue that makes a perfect photo opportunity while you're there. And last but not least is the Earl the Squirrel Village that features one of the trees from the Christmas tree stroll, the treats booth which has a bunch of yummy treats to choose from, Earl's best roasted nuts, and a photo op wall before you leave. And at the end of the day, you'll want to make sure that you find a really great spot to watch the amazing holiday parade featuring Macy's. The parade starts at the gate located right next to Universal Orlando's Horror Makeup Show. If you're a Universal Annual Pass holder, there is a reserved area for pass holders in front of Mel's Dine-In. But make sure to get there early because it is first come, first serve, and fills up really quickly. But there's several areas throughout the parade route where you'll get a really great view of the parade. My favorite area is the corner right next to Starbucks, which gives you this really great view down the street towards the Christmas tree. And you get to see all of the floats as they make their way towards you. And the start of the parade of this year is this giant snowflake that comes with fun dancing snowmen and snowflakes as well as the famous giant Macy star. After that is the minions float that are decorating the tree, followed by Gru and the girls. There's also my favorite minion Bob who is a giant balloon. And following him are many more minions who are causing mayhem on the ski slope. After the minions was Madagascar, who started their section with the penguins float. This was followed by King Julian, who is always really fun to see. And the rest of the Madagascar crew, Alex, Marty, Melman, and Gloria. Once they passed by, it was time for the Shrek section, 
and this started off with a giant gingerbread man balloon. That was followed by the three little pigs, the big bad wolf, and the three blind mice. They also had a giant baby donkey, or should I say drunky? This was followed by Shrek, Fiona, and a dragon with another drunky finishing off their section. Then it was time for the big man himself, which started off with nods to Santa's workshop with a toy train as well as an assortment of toys. There was also a nutcracker, and then Santa himself, who was always a welcome sight, and the grand finale to the parade. I loved the holiday parade this year, and it is the perfect way to end your day at Universal Studios. But if that was not enough holiday festivities for you, Universal also offers a character breakfast with the Grinch and friends, which we tried to get tickets to, but were sold out really quickly. So if you do want to reserve this for next year, you'll want to make sure that you grab your tickets as soon as possible. There's also a holiday tour that you can add on, which is a fun way to get exclusive access to holiday festivities and we got a really awesome tour guide named Mike who told us about a lot of details all throughout the park. During the holiday tour at Universal, you get an exclusive meeting with Grinch and its faithful dog Max, reserve seating for Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular, and get a chance to enjoy some small plates like hoo hash, chicken and waffles, popcorn shrimp, and some holiday cookies. We even got a private meeting with Santa that included this digital download of our photo, priority seating to one ride, and the highlight of the entire night was definitely the exclusive after hours viewing of the magic of Christmas at Hogwarts Castle. If you are planning on staying even more days in Central Florida and looking for more holiday experiences to enjoy, then you'll want to check out my playlist that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I'll walk you through other theme park holiday festivities as well as local Christmas events that you won't want to miss. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.